I guess welcome home. How does it feel? It feels good. I, uh, it's an honor to be here. I wore that jersey as a kid. Uh, I was a big Leaf fan when I was little, so it's, it'll be pretty special to put it on. And uh, for my family, it's, it's a big day. Was it a poker game for you, your management group, going well over an hour and a half before you finally made your decision? Yeah, it, it was tough. These last, uh, this, these last couple of days have been, been tough. Me and my wife have uh, gone to see places and done things. Um, but I think in our heart, the more we thought about it today and uh, being close to home and, like I mentioned, wear, wearing that jersey when I was young and idolizing some of the guys that played here uh, meant something to me. How many teams did it come down to at the end for you when you were making that decision? Uh, as it was getting down to the end, there were there were three or four there that were uh, teams where I was, uh, you know, kicking back and forth. And uh, at the end of the day, I think in my heart, uh, this is where I wanted to be. And uh, and like I said, it's an, it's an exciting day for my family. So was the deciding factor ultimately coming home? Like, was that the final straw? Well, there's, there's a lot of factors that go into it. You look at a, you look at the way a team's built. You look at a lot of things. Um, the coach, you look at everything before you make a decision like that. And those were things I liked. I, I, I watched the end of the season this year. I um, have been a Leaf fan since I was a kid. And uh, I'm excited to come in here, put this jersey on. And uh, being at home, yeah, it means something. But when... Uh, when I was a kid, I, I ran around the house wearing a Wendell Clark jersey. You know, that was me playing mini sticks when I was little. I pretend I was him, and uh, for me, it was a, a special day. My dad brought me up a Leaf fan, so it's a, it's an honor to how, be here. How much a part of your thought process, it, process was it that when you sign a seven-year deal, coming home, obviously there's going to be a lot of expectation and pressure put put on your way. Um, you know what? I, I play a, a style of hockey where. I, I try and come out every night, and I wear my heart on my sleeve. That's just uh, the type of player I am. If I'm, you know, I, I try and do different little things, whether it's scoring or hitting or um, the pressure. Uh, every game you go on that ice, you're, you, you know, you need to play well. You need to do something, and um, I'm somebody that's going to come home, and that's my plan. Every night I'm going to go out there and put the hard hat on and go to work. What were those two days like just being able to talk to teams but not necessarily get offers and, you know, kind of jet set around and, and kind of get a feel for, for that 48-hour window where you can just kind of see what else is out there? It was, it was nice. It was nice. Uh, it was an experience that uh, um, I've obviously never been through in my career. And uh, me and my wife got to go look at different locations or, um, you know, uh, see other places, so it was. Uh, I think it was. It was a great experience for us. Did you feel your style kind of fit with the way that Randy and the team want to play? Um, I think so. I think you look at all that stuff. I think uh, they're a team that plays hard every night, um, and that's the way I like to play the game. So I, I think definitely that was that was part of it. Have you talked to uh, Dave Bowles at all the past couple of days about coming here? Um, I haven't. You know what? I've been uh, so busy uh, traveling around and what's been going on, but. Uh, uh, Dion called me today uh, right after it was announced and uh, said some very nice words to me and uh, John Michael Isles too reached out and so I know a couple of the guys and I know you can't keep saying it but I'm, I'm excited uh, for this to get going. Dave, what do you, what do you take out of New Jersey that uh, helped you? you think? Mm -hmm. I take a lot of New Jersey. Mr. Lamarillo was uh, the first person to give me an opportunity. He was a GM that I uh, ha have more respect for than, than you could imagine. He uh, Somebody that's, I think he's part of the reason I'm standing here today. He's helped me throughout my career. Took a chance. I've, yeah, took a, took a chance, gave me that first chance. He, uh, and, and I've had a lot of great coaches there. So Jersey somewhere still close to my heart. And, uh, but at, at this time in my life, I, I felt that this was a step uh, that I needed to take. Dave, you mentioned taking a chance. You look back to Belleville. I think you were an 11th round pick. Everyone's taken chances on you and maybe given up on you. You've never given up on yourself. But this has to be a very proud day for you. It is. I think uh, this is something that, uh, especially to my mom and dad and uh, my wife and daughter, but it's, uh, it's like you said, I think when you're, uh, when you're counted out or, or not drafted and those things, you've got to push harder. And uh, I had a very supportive family that was always there for me. They were always uh, answer the phone and, and help me get through things. So I think it makes you stronger, and, uh, and that's, why, that's why I'm here today. Today kind of become a family affair then. Yeah, it's become pretty uh, pretty big to my family. They've, uh, you know, like I said, they're the reason I'm here. But uh, it's 
it's definitely big to my dad. He's a, he raised us as Leaf fans. He uh, bought us all our first Leaf jersey, so it's, it's, it's definitely a big, big to me and my family. I always say coming back to play here, there's always that pressure, this scrutiny playing here, and, and some guys don't want to come here. Did that ever cross your mind in terms of weighing out the positives or the negatives, or, or is that just overblown? Well, I, you know what? I, I look at it, my job's on the ice. I'm going to go out there every night. I'm, I'm going to give you everything I have. So am I perfect? No. But uh, I'm going to go out there every night and, and play my game, and um, I, I really wasn't too worried about that, no. Did you get a chance to expand on your charities off the ice and what you've already done out of the Kitchener area? I hope to. Mm -hmm. uh, charity is, is something uh, is big to my heart. That's something that I believe in, and uh, I see what these kids go through. And as a professional athlete, I think uh, I'm very lucky to do what I do, and if you can give back and help others, I, I plan on doing that here in Toronto. I plan on doing something big and, uh, and, and something very special. David, you see this as a team that's ready to contend with adding you, bringing back Tyler, Jonathan Bernier? I do. I, th I think they showed it last year. They showed the direction they're taking, the steps they've made. Um, and uh, that was, that's what weighed in on my decision, too. It's, it's, uh, I played against them last year. They're a hard team to play against. And I'm looking forward to uh, getting to that lineup wherever I fit. and. Uh, Coming in here, just I'm not going to change my game. I'm, I'm going to play that same style of game, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. You were complimentary of what Peter DeBoer taught you in junior about little things like deflecting the puck and, and that kind of thing. Now, was Steve Spot on that uh, Steve, team as well to help you in that regard? Yeah, he was. You know, Pete DeBoer is somebody that uh, has helped me throughout my career. He's uh, another big reason why I'm here today for believing me at a young age. Uh, Steve Spot was an assistant coach there who. Uh, uh, I can't say enough good things about he, he, those two. I won a Memorial Cup with both of them, and they, they knew how to teach us. They knew how to work with us. Um, I, I actually phone spotted to congratulate him uh, late today. I have been so busy, I didn't get a chance to call him, but he is one of the best coaches I've been around, and uh, I was very excited for him to get the opportunity.